the, the classic fist bump right off the bat, and we've got Bayonetta versus Screw Ninja. It's Smashville. Let's see how we do. Gemini's been, <laughs> he's been putting some pretty salty victories out there, so we'll see how BT Max able to handle it if he's got any practice on some Bayonetta's back over in uh, wherever he's going to college. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yep. This is my buddy Brady over here on the side of the stream here, by the way. What's so up? Braden is the game attack. Braden, yeah. Braden, Braden. Yeah. Right, my yeah. BT Max showing that he really doesn't get a lot of Bayonetta practice, so uh, <laughs> there's that. Oh, but he was able to get out of it. Very quick thinking using that uh, substitute. Nope. Looks like it might oh, be. Oh, he used it to get out. All right. Oof. Gemini ready to finish this. That's it. That's it. Just adding another one just for kicks and giggles. My goodness. Greninja knows some of the options to get out of those combos, but... Not exactly flawless on implementing before he gets all of that damage in. Gemini's really not afraid to go for him. Greninja's got to get a little bit of damage on and hurry up and get this stock out if he's going to be able to pull back this round. Being very careful, doing what he can to avoid a repeat of the last stock. And as you can see, Gemini just really just not in a rush to go in or, or anything. Just kind of sticking back. Oh! That's it. There we go. <laughs> well, Gemini better change his role a little bit this round. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, Fred. What? <laughs> Talk to you. My bad. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. Oof. And just like that, Greninja is a 74. <laughs> He's definitely giving him a run for his money. That's for sure. Ooh, is that going to be it? Nope. Very careful with that substitute to make sure he finds his way out. I thought that shuriken was going to come out, but I guess not. Oof. Oof. Uh, and that's enough. Game one. You know, even though he lost, I really just, I love his, his use of the ninja. He's, he's so, like, versatile, man. He just never could get a feel for him himself, but he, he knows, he seems to know what he's doing, that's for sure. Yeah. Very careful movement. Uh, strong use of... Uh, Sure, you can keep him away when necessary. I mean, he's definitely got his fundamentals. Yeah, we'll see if he can. Let's, we'll see if he figured him out after that round, maybe. Three, <laughs> two, one, go! Yeah, all right, off the bat, throwing out some sure hits. Combos, and then of course Bayo gets the. Help me out here, Billy. I'm not so good at this. <laughs> well, nobody's really running away with it right now. Usually what I say when it comes down to 30 seconds and nobody's got a massive amount of damage on there. BT Mac trying to avoid those combos where he can. Getting the first couple hits of them from Gemini, but able to hold out. Ugh. See, he charges up that attack in order to force him to attack or, you know, return from above. Gemini didn't really take the opportunity to capitalize and punish on that. He's really playing it safe, I think. I think he, yeah. he realizes he's got a, he's, she's got a lot of options on him. So he's, got a, he's definitely got to play it safe with Greninja there. Yep. And, and, and the thing about Bayo, too, I mean, you have no problem playing it slow. Really no problem, because if you're ahead, and you usually are, what's going to happen? Probably not going to get games, I'll tell you that. Great go. use of that there. Yeah, enough smash. With, uh, with a little damage on her in the back. Slowly but surely. Just got to play it safely. Every time we got Bayo oh, over man. here coming in with that crazy combo game. That was Not enough. Much you can do about that. Ooh, there we go. Almost got it. Might get. Tries to blow him away before he can grab that ledge. Not quick enough. The crazy thing about this matchup is that both characters have so many, so many little, so many quick Ooh. moves that just come Ooh. out so fast. 
Ooh, look like. at this. <laughs> BT Mac, very careful usage of that up B and Hydro Pump in order to try to keep him off the stage. Luckily, Smashville came for the day for Gemini and they were able to save him, but that did not look very good. If I were Gemini, I'd be playing a little bit more careful. Man, BT Max doing a great job of just making sure he doesn't get killed off of that top of that substitute. I think that was intentional from Gemini, but it worked. Force him to a high recovery, punish him for it. Oh, That's wow. enough. Wow. Falling there does it. Thought he might have a chance to get another stock. Here. Now BT's going to have to do a loser's run if he wants another shot at that. But we'll see if uh, anybody else has to say whether or not. 